I'm Caleb Harris and today I'm making some clipboards. So far I took this piece of ambrosia maple to my jointer and jointed one edge, then ripped it on the table saw. So now I know both edges are 90 degrees to the face and this board is the same width all the way down its length. Next I'm going to lay out the different size clipboards I want to get out of it. So I can cut my walnut and purple heart to size to be banding on the edge. It's always a relief to get things in clamps. I shouldn't mess with the paper roll once I started pouring glue because I often forget, as you can tell by how messy my bench is, but I didn't. I went ahead and moved it. So the reason I have purple heart on both ends and walnut in the middle is my piece of purple heart wasn't long enough to do a long and short clipboard. If it was, I'd have done shorts on both ends and longs in the middle or vice versa, but it wasn't. But my walnut was, so I have a long clipboard and purple heart on this end, short on the other end, and then a short and long here in walnut in the middle. Fresh off the joiner and I realized I messed something up. I didn't think about the grain orientation when I glued all these things together. So some of the grain's running uphill, some's going downhill. And what that means is if you look at this walnut, you can see all the grains oriented that way. So the way you want to feed this would be that way into a joiner or planer. So that way as the knives cut, they cut this way so that you don't have to worry about any tear out. You get tear out because if I cut it the other way, then when those knives come and cut, what happens is if they don't cut the fibers and they grab them instead, then they'll lift and tear out chunks because that's the way, that's the, way the grain's flowing. That's how you get tear out. And of course these boards are all mixed up and I got some bad tear out. So we're gonna go to the planer and see if I can get good results because I still wanna plane it, but I really don't wanna cut this apart and re-glue it back together, so I'm not gonna do that. So, time to plane. <music> I was able to get it through the planer without any tear out by taking super light passes. I was doing, was this cord burn? About a 64th of an inch at a time and cranked it down to the lowest feed speed. That worked really well. But there was a little bit of twist in this maple board. Of course, it got flat when it went through the joiner, but now this is a low side and I've got about another 16th of an inch here I need to take before this is parallel. But I don't want to take that across the whole board and I don't need to. So I'm going to cut off my two long clipboard sections and have the two short and then I'll be able to just plane these and not lose the thickness on my long boards. It's time to bring these down to width. I want them nine inches wide, but I want the bands on each side to be even. So what I did is measure the width it is now, which is nine and three eighths. That means I need to take three eighths of an inch off this to bring it down to nine. So I'm gonna do three sixteenths off each side.
All right, now it's time for one of the few shop things that kind of makes me nervous. That's resawing all these on the bandsaw. Just have to fight blade drift and stuff, and I'm just not too good at it yet. So hopefully this has come out well. After each pass, I'm going to take it over to the planer to get a new flat surface to reference off the fence. I just finished batching out these clipboards for a big craft show I have coming up. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my craft show update after it happens where I'll talk about how much time I put into preparation, my expenses, what my pricing, profit, and all that information that is hard to get sometimes. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to support me, I have a Patreon. I also sell t-shirts and plans, or you can just hit that share button, which costs you nothing and actually helps quite a bit. Also, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming content. I also have some cool videos I've already put out that you should go check out now. Thank you.